Hello everyone. This is our session number three of lesson number one. In last session, we learn what the different uh, networking devices in which we learn what is router, modem, and some other networking devices. Now in this session, we are going to learn what some new points which are related to computer networking. So let's see first one network architecture actually it is called uh, network topology or topology so let's see what is network architecture or topology network arch architecture means what the arrangement of computers in computer network is called network architecture or topology that means when we install any particular computer network by arranging all the computers connecting them with the communication medium that is called what a network architecture and there are two types of network architecture first one that is a peer to peer network architecture and second one is a client to server network architecture second one that is client to server network architecture so let's see the first one you can see here we have a peer to peer architecture in which peers are connected to each other peer means what a normal machine or client okay and uh, here we have a client and server architecture in which clients are connected to server server is a highly configured machine and which is connected to other client a client can be your mobile or your personal computer laptop in which uh, server is the host which provide what the services to other computers now let's see these uh, types in detail now let's see what is peer to peer architecture as compared to client and server architecture it is easy to install and uh, it is too inexpensive as compared to what or it is cost effective as compared to client server architecture because it require what only client machines okay to connect themselves and you not need to install any kind of what a highly configured machine in this okay so whatever services are exist in clients or in normal computers those services are shared with other computers okay and whenever any particular uh, machine or whenever any particular client will collapse then that will not affect on entire network okay your entire network will work uh, without any disturbance then next one that is a client to server architecture in which uh, clients are connected to host or clients are connected to server a server is a highly configured machine as as i as we discussed in last session a server is a highly configured machine it is expensive and uh, it has what are some special features as compared to client or as compared to what a peer so what features it has it has features to manage what are other clients and it has features to set what are rights to other clients and so on these features it has so it is different than what a client and it required what a NOS network operating system to handle all clients okay so it is expensive uh, to use or install and uh, quite uh, difficult to install okay and uh, whenever server will fail then entire network will collapse this is the drawback of what a client server architecture but uh, it is effective than what peer to peer because it has a special machine which provide what a services to their clients okay then this after what is the next point after network architecture or network topology our next point is types of computer network before that let's see some other uh, what a topologies okay actually uh, what these are the architecture but uh, in which uh, clients are in which computers are arranged uh, and what we call that a network architecture okay and different types are the in which mesh topology or mesh architecture is there then star architecture or star topology then burst topology or star or uh, burst topology or burst network architecture so what these are some other types in which or you can choose one of these to install what a network okay this after a next one is a types of computer network and now in this we are going to learn what a different types of network according to what a user requirement or according to what a uh, the uses or uh, different types of networks are used okay that is based on what the use of uh, use of what that 
computer network okay according to use you can choose one of these to install what a computer network so let's begin with the first one actually there are four types of computer networks first one that is personal area network that is pan pan stands for personal area network here we have a picture of what a personal area network in which uh, uh, computer is connected with some portable devices in which uh, your mobile phone pd or printer or scanner means it is connected with some other portable devices what we call that a personal area network the installation work is too easy and it is inexpensive as compared to other types of network and it has a limit of 10 meters within 10 meters you can use or within 10 meters it will work effectively as compared to others okay so this is about what a personal area network and in which only single user can use this type of network if you want to install a network uh, to more than one user then you can choose uh, another network type and this type of network is used uh, in small offices and especially at home okay for domestic work then this after what is next one this is local area network if you want to install a network uh, to more than one users or clients then you can use this type of network and what is that a LAN, LAN stands for a local area network actually it is uh, or we are talking about what a wired types of computer network in next session or on next page we are going to uh, talk on what a wireless network types okay now we are discussing or we are talking on what a wired types of what a computer network or wired computer networks okay now let's see what is LAN LAN stands for local area network in which uh, multiple users can access what a computer okay and uh, this type of network is used uh, in small to medium organizations establishment or uh, installation of what this type of network uh, is easy you can maintain it easily okay and it has a it has what a range of one kilometer okay and this type of network generally used in schools colleges then multinational companies group of buildings okay so these are some examples of what a local area network now this after you can see here we have a uh, picture of what a local area network here computers are connected to each other okay and uh, a server who, who is providing what services to other clients okay and it has a range of what a one kilometer now this after a next uh, network type that is a man metropolitan area network then this after a uh, next uh, network type is the man man metropolitan area network in this type of network uh, multiple small networks are connected we can say uh, lans are connected to each other and what we call that when lan uh, uh, networks or lan type of computer networks connects to each other then we call that uh, metropolitan area network this type of network uh, is used uh, uh, for surveillance for traffic control okay that means in metro city or in uh, for city level this type of networks are used or this type of network is used uh, by uh, what a government of that uh, uh, city or what then it has uh, 10 kilometers range okay and uh, it is uh, expensive as compared to LAN and installation is uh, difficult as compared to local area network because uh, your geographical regions or, uh, or uh, geographical areas are connected of same region okay so it's, it's difficult to install then uh, next uh, this after that is a uh, van wide area network sometimes it is called a global network or now we are using what the internet is an example or this is the best example of what uh, the wide area network geographical areas are connected uh, through bounded or unbounded communication means your uh, satellite or uh, satellite and wired communication or mediums are used uh, for what uh, to transmit 
computer to receive data okay so internet is the best example of what a wide area network then uh, installation is difficult okay actually it is teamwork it is not a work of any single person or any single group okay then it has a range of more than 100 kilometers that meant 100 kilometers or more than more than 100 kilometers okay and uh, in which we know that uh, bounded and unbounded communications or communication mediums are used okay then uh, this after there is one activity which you have to complete it is a uh, fill in the blanks and that you have to complete in your computer uh, notebook okay also you have to complete in computer textbook then this after a uh, next one is a uh, transmission uh, media so let's see what is the uh, transmission media a transmission media means what actually it is a medium to transfer data from one computer to another computer and what we call that transmission medium means it is a way to establish what a communication path between computers or between devices or between stations okay and what we call that transmission media and uh, there are different types of transmission medias okay these are given here first one physical media what we call that wired media okay means physical media is also called what a wired media and second one that is wireless media physical media is used uh, to cover short distance okay means on geographical uh, areas uh, we can use what uh, the physical medium to connect for two different stations or two different water clients okay and uh, in which uh, fiber optic cables are used or coaxial cables twisted pair cables are used then next one wireless medium if uh, if there is a what a remote connection or to connect water uh, to segments or to stations on uh, remote locations then we use the what a wireless medium that means to connect water uh, to different continents or to different water geographical areas then we use this types of water communication medium and that we call wireless communication medium means here satellite communication is used okay for that satellite communication is used examples are here infrared microwave satellite signals as i said satellite signals are used then infrared microwaves what these are some other examples of what a wireless media then let's see some physical media here we have some examples of physical media first one that is ethernet cable ethernet cable it is similar to water or it looks like a telephone cable and these types of cables are used to connect water pc router switches within a lan or within water network type okay and uh, it will not work for long distance okay this means this type of cable is used to cover a short distance okay that means uh, in between 10 meter or 20 meter okay this after next type of cable is a twisted pair cable here we have a uh, four pairs okay and uh, here cables are twisted on each other and uh, this type of cable is used to connect water computer in computer network and uh, the reason behind uh, twisting what this cable to avoid what uh, the noise during transmission that means without losing what any signal uh, to transmit that signal or transmit the data so these uh, cables are twisted on each other and here you can see the different color codes are given and the purpose of each and every cable is different a uh, few of this will help you or few of this will help to transmit data a few of this will help to um, uh, provide what the electricity that is required okay understand uh, so this is about water twisted pair cable one more important it has water plastic uh, water uh, coating that coating will uh, protect uh, the internal uh, contents from uh, external um, damage this after a uh, next one is a coaxial cable these types of cables are used uh, 
uh, in TV or in television industries uh, to provide or to take a, uh, to get access of what uh, uh, television channels okay and it has a core which is made up of water copper and uh, around the copper different uh, uh, protectors are there these protectors are given to avoid or to stop water noise of ex to stop water external noise okay so this is the main reason behind using water this uh, uh, external cover okay and uh, this after next one is a fiber optic uh, cable these types of cables are used uh, to cover a long distance and nowadays uh, these types of cables are used uh, to get a internet access or to establish or to install what a internet uh, uh, connection okay uh, for a long distance okay and uh, the speed or uh, data transmission speed of uh, fiber optic cable is faster than what uh, the other cables and uh, it is expensive as compared to what uh, mm, other types of cables and it uses what uh, the flexible glass tubing okay that means it is made up of what a flexible glass tubing because of that uh, the speed or transmission rate is uh, faster than what a other types of or previous types of water cable then installation of fiber optic is uh, quite difficult as compared to other types of cables okay and uh, the most advantage of using this uh, to cover a long distance okay then this after our uh, next one that is a uh, wireless technology wireless technology means here without uh, using any kind of physical medium transmission of data has completed so this is called what a wireless technology in which we are going to learn what a different wireless technology so I'll begin first with the infrared technology we all are familiar with the infrared now what is infrared actually it is a wireless technology and it uses what a short range wireless signals to transfer data generally this type of technology is used in gaming remotes in uh, television remotes okay and uh, to cover or to transfer data okay uh, for short distance we use this technology or this technology is used in television remotes and in game remotes but uh, it has one disadvantage what is that uh, uh, it will not work like what a bluetooth technology or wi-fi technology okay why because uh, uh, it will not pass or it uh, cannot pass or infrared network signals cannot pass any wall or any uh, obstructions or any obstacles okay uh, here you can see the infrared technology okay and there's no any wall okay there's no any obstacle so it's working this after the next one the bluetooth technology nowadays uh, is there with the keyboard also with the mouse also and uh, it is there in mobile phones uh, the use of this technology to transfer a data or to send data or to receive data and it work or it has a range up to 30 feet or 10 meters 30 feet or 10 meters okay and this is the sign for water bluetooth it is used to send or receive data without connecting what the devices through bounded communication so it is called water of uh, wireless communication okay and this also works for work for what a short distance and that distance is 30 feet or 10 meters this after the next one it is a wireless uh, LAN we know what is LAN a LAN is a type of what a network now in this we are going to learn about what is a WLAN means wireless LAN actually in LAN uh, computers are connected uh, with uh, bounded communication but here instead of bounded communication unbounded communication 
means unwanted communication medium is used that means here wireless NIC cards are used we know that what is NIC card uh, here before we discussed in uh, components of what a computer network actually it is a type of what a uh, card that allow that computer to become a part of what a computer network okay so it is a uh, what a uh, modified version of what a uh, NIC uh, wired NIC and that is what a wireless uh, network interface card that means it has what uh, the antenna through which it uh, receive or transfer data that means it uh, interact with what uh, the wireless uh, router or wireless switch okay uh, with which it is configured to transfer or to send data okay and it has what uh, the 30 meters range that means it will work uh, within 30 meter range okay and here you can invite any kind of what uh, device because it is a uh, wireless so you can invite any wireless device to become or to interact with what any other um, part of that computer network okay so it is about what a wireless uh, network or wireless uh, local area network and uh, the advantage of this one uh, is uh, it doesn't require what any kind of physical communication medium so the installation is uh, too easy as compared to wired communication because you not need to crimp or you not need to uh, config what uh, the cables okay or you not need to crimp what any kind of cable that is the advantage it doesn't require what uh, any kind of what uh, the cables okay so this is the advantage of water using wireless uh, local area network okay but uh, it is uh, costly as compared to water local area wired local area network so this is about what uh, the wireless uh, local area network and one more advantage of using wireless local area network that you can uh, connect any portable device that means not only your computer you can connect a mobile phone or uh, even a wrist watch okay digital wrist watch even tab okay or laptop also this is the advantage of using what the wireless local area network then next one uh, wireless man wireless metropolitan area network in wireless metro in metropolitan area network or this type of network uh, is installed or it is used uh, by particular metropolitan metropolitan area to s for surveillance purpose or to monitor border traffic and this is gone by uh, the public sector of this border uh, metropolitan city okay and here different or multiple water uh, networks are connected in which uh, local area networks or personal area networks are connected okay mostly local area networks are connected and uh, it has a range of order 50 kilometer that means uh, almost it cover what uh, the portion or what the area of that city okay and uh, it uses what uh, the WiMAX wireless technology okay uh, this is about what a wireless man or wireless metropolitan area network now uh, this after the next one is a uh, wireless van so let's say about wireless van you know what is van van is a wide area network and internet is the example of what the van area network okay and uh, it is public network also so let's see what is about wireless van here connect what the two or more different networks okay or different or different types of network from same region or from different region that means within a uh, same country or from different countries or within a same country from different cities then we use this type of network it is costless compared to what previous types of wireless network because it uses for 
satellite communication and networks are connected from same region uh, with the different cities okay so it is costly then we'll see next point network terminology in next session so enough for today i hope you people understand